Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to domain join a workstation um, using Zscaler uh, private access. So, um, so I've got uh, my workstation here. It's running as the local administrator. I've actually gone and signed in um, to Zscaler app here as uh, as as a user account in the domain. M Ryan. Um, uh, but this is the administrator account on the on the machine, so uh, I'm already set up. I'm ready to go. So let's um, let's go and um, domain join the workstation. So it's currently in a workstation. Let's click join a domain. Domain is called WelshGeek.net. Um, the Zscaler app enables the the user to to see the domain. Um, so I can enter a user account that can uh, domain join the uh, workstation. Um, and so this is going to go off, find the domain, um, create the computer account, um, synchronize policy, um, and it's going to ask me do I want to add an account, and I could do this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this for now because I want to show you a demonstration of how to do this in general with any user account, um, and any version of Windows as well. This will work for Windows 8 as well as Windows 10. So, um, so let's go ahead and restart now. Um, this will take a second because it's going to... Um, you know, synchronize the policies and do all of those kind of things. So um, there we go. So we'll restart. Okay, so my workstation has restarted now. Um, and the important thing now is, you know, I don't, I still don't have any um, ability to, to to access domain accounts because um, you know, the 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 Zscaler app is running in the user context. So let me go ahead and uh, log in as the uh, local administrator. Okay, so I'm logged in now as that local administrator. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up a quick command prompt. And I've got a script here called uh, profile.bat. And all it's going to do is it's going to prompt me to enter a username. Um, and then what it's going to do is it's going to run, run as the user. It's just going to run a simple command, uh, echo. Um, command but it's got this slash profile and what that means is it's going to download the profile from the domain it's going to cache it locally so let's go ahead and run profile.bat my username is mryan and I enter the password um, and away we go a quick pop up and it ran that command so now I can go ahead and I can log off here um, and so now when this machine's come up, I can log in as M Ryan, enter my password, and it knows who I am because it's got the profile cached. It can go off, um, go. We've got my password credentials cached locally. So it's going to go ahead and log me in, um, and then my login script here is going to automatically um, start up Zscaler app with a bit of luck. Also going to start Skype for business. Let's uh, let's kill that. We don't want that running. It's already got my cached credentials from before, um, but you know I'm now logged in. I've got Zscaler app um, running. Um, I'm not sure what uh, what this certificate warning is, um, but yeah, um, it went off. Uh, it joined the domain. It logged me in. Zscaler app was already running, it had access to my uh, my Kerberos credentials. Um, oh, I need to uh, refresh the certificates and things like that, I need to do something with that. Um, but yeah, because I was um, part of the domain, Zscaler app started, it ran in the background, it did the uh, Kerberos authentication because it had cache credentials, it could access the domain, um, and we're all good. So. Uh, there we go for the demo. Thank you.